agrees to transfer setting registration values, apartment IDs, address book, web access favorites, printed settings, and paper information from one copier to another over the network. This works between an image runner advanced and non-image runner advanced copiers. Both copiers must be on the same subnet, and both copiers must have device information delivery system. You can have one master copier pushing out settings to many slave copies at the same time on the network. Now, on a non-image runner advanced copier, you click on additional function, system settings, and then you go to device information delivery. On an image runner advanced copier, you want to hit setting registration, management setting, and then device management, and then go to device information delivery settings. Device information delivery is ideal when you're at a customer location and you get rid of an old device and you want to transfer all the settings on the old device to the new machine. The old device could be a 3380, could be a, a 3045, and you go into either a first or sec second generation image on advance. This is when uh, device information delivery comes into play. Let's take a look at the second generation image on a, a van 5255 and what we're going to push over today is the apartment ID and let's go ahead and take a look on the copier and see the settings on the image on a van. Let's go ahead and hit set registration. We're going to go to management settings. We're going to go into, let's go to user management and then apartment ID. Let's go ahead and turn it on and let's go and see if there's any department ID registered and there is none. Let's go ahead, we're going to come out of that and we're going to go to a, another machine which is the master. The machine that we're looking at right now is a first generation 6075 image runner van. So let's go into the department ID on this. And there is four department ID that we want to transfer to the 5255. First thing we want to do is check the date and time on both copies, make sure that is correct. Let's go ahead and do that. And this is the correct date, and that's the correct time. So the first thing we want to do is go under the certificate setting and generate a key. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and generate a key. We can call it anything that we want. And the key algorithm is RSA. Signature is SHA1. Key cost is going to be uh, 512. Go ahead and hit next. Validity start date. We're going to put today's date.
Okay, that's the correct time. We're going to do the exact same thing, which is generate a key. that is on there. Let's go ahead and check the other machine. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And we're going to do a quick reboot. Turn this on, come here, and there it is. All right, hopefully you enjoyed a lot from this video. I want to thank you again for using Canon products, and thank you for your time.